Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG laptop. This is an ASUS ROG GL503VD model and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace your battery. This is just a demonstration, I'm not going to actually replace it but if your battery is running low or is not uh, charging completely or it just it goes down really quickly then you might want to replace it. All right, and by doing this, you're not going to change anything in the system or any configuration. You just plug and play. We get lots of clients coming in and that the batteries are just inflated and you just, it lasts about half an hour and then sure, you can just replace it. And I'll cover that in this video. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop and I'll go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a good screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set, I always like to use the iFixit screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. These are really good screwdriver set. The bits are made out of S2 class steel. I mean, they really grip really good and they don't go bad. And if you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right down here first, we're going to remove the service cover by sticking the guitar pick right in the middle and lifting up this rubber cover, rubber leg right there. Remove the tiny screw right underneath. And then we're gonna put it right in here and lift it up just like that. And then up and down and it will just release it up. And right away we're gonna see the hard drives and the RAMs and the SSDs, everything. The only one that we're gonna disconnect is gonna be the mechanical drive. We're gonna lift up this flip thing upward. And we're going to untangle this just like that. Bring it. You can, to be for a safe side, just remove this caddy, remove the four screw that touches the caddy for the mechanical drive. So yeah, you don't have this metal thing going around. It's just extra precaution. Just grab it from here and slide it towards the front. And there we have it. Now, we're going to remove the screw right in here behind the, the black one right in there. These are really tough in the screw. The screw right in here. And the screw right over here. All right, once we remove these screws, now we're going to start continue by removing all the screws all around the front row and the back end. So the front rows, these are the short screws, so we remove them and keep them in one pile and then the back ones in the different piles so you don't mix match them. Remove the corners are really short ones, the mid ones are really medium size. So take a note of that. Now I'm going to remove the side screw right in here. These are long screws and the one in the back corner. This one, it is the same size as that one. So these two are the same size. Let's check these two. These two are the same size as the rest. Let's remove this one over here. And this one should be the same size as the rest. So there are three types of screws. The front two corner short ones and the rest on the outside is of the long screws. And don't forget about the screws right under the cover here. Three screws, these are the same size. But once we remove all this, we're going to grab the opening tool. We're going to go in the front end of the laptop. And we're going to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and thumb, palm rest. And we're just going to work it around. And we should see an opening right in there. It might be a little tougher, but... You want to hear a click sound, that's what you want to hear. Open up the screen a little bit if you want. And you can see a gap opening right there. You want to work yourself on the side. There we go. And do the left and right side. You can't see right there. Let me see. It goes right there. There we go. Follow the line, I have the camera right in front of me. 
And then once you got the front and the side, bring it up, work it slowly up and down like this, and lift it up from the back, bring it up, and it should release itself right there. Now that we're down here, we can see the battery right in here. The battery model, it is right, it is a model B41N1711. So there's your battery. To remove the battery, the connector is right in here. So what you want to do, you want to put your fingers right at the corner of your jack right there and pull it backward straight. It is kind of hard, hard to pull it. You want to wiggle it around a little bit and it should release itself just like that. Now, all you need to do is remove one screw right in there and one screw in the middle. Remove these two screws. And lift it up, bring it up straight, and there you have it. One, two, three, four cell batteries, four cell configuration, I don't know, but it is, looks like a three cell, three cables, three red cables, and three black, so that means they're configured in a three cell configuration. So, and there's a CMOS battery, CR2032. If you want to replace your BIOS battery, that's the one right there. Let's say that you got the new battery in. All you want to do, you want to put this pinhole right by the screw right in there. And the other one in the here, bring it down. Make sure the jack goes in, the connector goes inside the jack evenly. That it does not go in sideways or anything like that. Otherwise, you're going to make a short and it's a good game. All right, so the jack is all the way pushed down inside the connector. Make sure it's all the way in. And you wanna grab the screw, put the screw right beside it right there. And the screw right over here. Once you got this one in place, now all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it straight over. And then you want to push the corners. You want to hear those nice big click sounds. And if you see any opening, you just want to pinch them together and it should go to its inner place. So first thing first, we're going to put the screws right under the cover, service cover here. Put those screws. Next, we're going to grab the hard drive. You're going to slide it right under palm rest, bring it down. Make sure it's nice snug in there. Tangle this cable, zigzag it right through the groove. Bring it, and you want to push down the connector. There we go. Now put the four screws for the hard drive caddy. Also, I'm going to give you a tip for the new batteries, how to use your new battery after you installed it to get the best performance for your uh, new battery. And you should do that once every two or three months. Once you put the, the screws right there, you wanna grab the bottom cover service cup, put it right on top and squeeze it down, just like that. And put the screw right in here with the rubber cover. All right, now once you put a new battery in there, you don't wanna power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it charging at least with a power off for at least, I would say, four to five hours. After four to five hours, you can power on the laptop without the charger and make sure you drain the battery slowly. Don't put any games or any heavy load. Slowly drain it down to 30, 20 percent. And after that, you want to power it off and leave it charging for another four to five hours. This first initial cycling of the battery is very, very important for the new one and for the old ones too. And if you want to keep the good maintenance, you should do this one. This servicing of the battery, charging and discharging once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its uh, best shape. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you replace your battery for your ASUS ROG GL503 VD model.